Yo, I'm going to show you how to do this paper rip transition using the Cinepax free paper rip transitions. So import both of your clips that you want to do the effect on and then come to the project section, right click, import media, find the paper rip transitions folder and then select the desired um, transition you want to use and then click import selected. I've already done it so I'm just going to back out of this. And then what you want to do is bring the second clip and bring it above the first one then drag down the paper transition and bring that above that and then you want to select both of the clips and right click do compound clip and then name it whatever you want I'm just going to leave it as it is and click OK and then double click into the compound layer and click on the rip video now what you want to do I've already done it um, search down here Kia where you can find it in the keying section and then drag the Kia over onto the rip transition and as you'll see that's the first half done so click this arrow to come back out of the compound layer then select the the, the compound layer and then add another Kia onto that as you'll see, this is not what we want. And the reason for that being, let me just command Z to undo this. I'm not sure if it's a bug in Final Court, but you have to put the playhead over to where the rip is happening for the for it to work. It doesn't really make any sense because you're doing the exact same thing. It's just, why would the playhead matter? But it, it seems to. And that, that's how it, you fix that issue. The next issue, you may see if I there's the original clip. If I bring the original clip down here, just drag this along to give me the comparison. You can clearly see on the left, which is the one with the Kia enabled onto it, it's like a pinky magenta shift to it. And the reason for that being obviously the Kia is removing blue or green. So obviously it's affected the colour of the actual image itself. So to fix this, click on the compound layer, go to the effects tab up here and then you want to change the spill level down to 0% and now that's how you fix the magenta shift the only problem with that though is you get another issue where you can just see around the edge of the paper here for example it's all green all around it so to fix that issue you want to go down to onto the map tools click on the arrow and then this is basically your shadows your midtones and your highlights so what we're going to do is bring your midtones up towards the highlights and the same with the shadows. Make sure you don't go too far or that happens. Bring it back slightly and you click if you look up here in the trees you can see that's not what we want. So we've got to bring that back down and try and I can't grab the uh, black one now. <laughs> Let me just command Z this so I can get to it. There we are. Right, so let me bring the blacks up, bring them shadows down to there, bring it down to around there, the mid tones, bring them down to about there, somewhere basically where you can see your image is not being affected. And that is basically it, you can see there's hardly any green around it at all, there's a slight bit there, but you're never going to notice it. To actually get rid of the little speckles, you can change the strength of the Kia all the way to 200% and that usually gets rid of the most of the green. There is a very slight bit there but it's completely un unnoticeable really. When you're watching the effect you're never going to notice it. Um, but that's basically it. has actually lowered it down a little bit. Um, so that's basically it. That's the effect done. The only other way to improve it or add your own little touch to it is if you, if you click onto the compound layer click on the rip you can actually adjust the the whiteness of the paper so if you bring the midtones up it's like a more of a clean a clean white the highlights up the paper's nice and clean and white I don't really like that look because it looks a bit too I don't know fake or I don't I prefer basically what I do is I bring the midtones down bring the shadows down 
looks like that's really like a nice old vintage sort of paper that's what i prefer and then so i prefer it like that play about with it however you want to and then you can speed up or slow down the the clip if you do command and r and grab the little tab here drag it to the right slows it down drag it to the left speeds it up or you can click the little arrow box here and it's got little presets of how fast you want to do it uh, i'm gonna go around about 180 percent i'll just play that see how fast that goes through yeah i like that i prefer it faster you might prefer it slower it's all personal preference so i've clicked that arrow to come back out of it and we'll just play over it yeah i think it's pretty nice and the only thing to do then is just to drag the clip over to the end of the the other clip obviously that's where the transition would naturally happen at the end of your clip and play it through and that's basically it so thank you for watching i hope this helps if you've got any questions you're not sure or anything then please leave them down in the comment section below i'll try my best to answer them and to resolve any issues you've got i'd very much appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel for more editing and filming content